Welcome back to PWA for Beginner Series. We're still in Chapter 3, and in the last video, we showed you how to get started with PWA Starter yep. and the Visual Studio Code extension. Today, we're going to show you all about how to use Edge DevTools to help you debug your progressive web app. Here with me again is Justin. Yep. Hello. Hey, Beth. And let's just go ahead and get started. How do I use Edge DevTools to work with my progressive web app? For sure. So yeah, so we we have our PDVA running from the uh, the last video. Um, so we we started it in GitHub. We um, opened it up in our VS Code, and then we ran npm run dev to actually get it in running in our browser. Um, so the, my my browser is Edge that I'm using. It will open up in whatever your like default browser is. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about Edge DevTools. Um, so I I mean the first thing that I think is cool about DevTools is when you open it up, you will get this um, welcome screen and which kind of goes through everything that's new to Edge, everything that, um, you know, they even have like videos and stuff that you can see in here um, showing what you can do with the DevTools. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over like a few of my kind of favorite things that DevTools has. I think most people are maybe familiar with like the console. That's where all your console logs, if you debug like me with console logs, this is where all your console logs are gonna, are gonna be. Um, we and all, then of we course, all do. Yeah, right. And then, of course, you can you know go to the Elements tab and actually dive into the um, HTML of your application. I think this is cool because you can see. So, um, as we mentioned in our last video, we are using Web Components, which will, means we're using something called Shadow DOM underneath the hood. Um, but DevTools supports that, and you can even like dive in and see um, you know exactly what elements we have here. We can see our router outlet and the page that is rendered there. Um, so yeah, I think this is really cool. Um, but going from there, there's a few things that I think are like really like really good for for specifically PWAs in DevTools. Um, so the network tab is the kind of first thing that I like to call out, and we'll actually um, control reload here so we can see some stuff. Um, so what the network tab does is um, so because PWAs are you know just like any other web thing, they're HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and that has to uh, has to get delivered over the network. Um, and what the network tab does is it can first, of course, show you all of your um, resources that you're pulling. Um, you can see like how much um, code that you have pulling. So we're in a dev build here, so it's like source maps and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of code here. Um, but yeah, you can dive in and see. Um, one thing that is one of my favorite features is the um, the uh, network throttling. So um, with a PWA, you or with any web thing, honestly, you you can never like. Um, you know, not everyone is on a fast connection. Not everyone is on the same network connection, um, and everyone's network connection is going to be different at different times, depending on like you know where you are or something like that. Um, so that is really important for PWAs, especially for that first load. Um, and yeah, you can go in with the network tab and like literally emulate different network connections, which is cool. And that ties back to what we've talked about, caching strategies, how to use service workers. And that's all like part of this network yep. tab where you can see how your resources resources are getting loaded. Um, and for what you're showing for throttling or your network conditions is more on the progressive part of progressive web apps, right? Exactly. So that your app can scale up or down based on your device capabilities and the situations that it's living in. Exactly. Definitely. Um, and yeah, with the service worker part too, you could even like emulate offline. Um, so with the starter, you get a service worker, you know, that's like set up out of the box. But yeah, you could even emulate offline cool. and make sure that your app works offline. More on the progressive stuff too, actually, is uh, performance. So we just talked about like network connections, and of course, not everyone's network connection is going to be the same. Um, not everyone's device is going to be the same either, right? Like we're even using two different services here. Um, and what you can do with that tools, and this is something you would normally like think about, like with like native apps or like running in Visual Studio. So I think it's really cool that it works in the browser too. Um, but you can do like CPU throttling. Um, so uh, you know I can go down from either four times slower than my current you know CPU that I have, or even six times slower. And what this enables you to do is basically just make sure your PWA is going to work on anyone's device. Um, and allows you to really, you know, kind of like, um, like you can go in and literally be coding and looking at your HTML and stuff. Yeah, while if your I have an older machine down. with like only one core. Yep. I don't even yeah. know if that exists anymore, but I'm sure it does. Uh, For but sure. that would be a good way to test your your pr progressive web app that works across all of these devices. And exactly. Situations. And cool. you can see the network throttling is in here too, right? So I can set up everything from the performance tab and really have like a good test. Um, you mentioned like cores too, right? CPU cores. 
So you can turn on hardware concurrency, and you can see, like, I'm on a Surface Pro 8, which has, like, an eight-core CPU to start off with. Um, but you can go down, you know, all the way to, like, emulating, like, a dual core. And this is good if you're doing, like, web worker stuff or you're, like, running, you know, JavaScript on different threads and that right. kind of thing. You can emulate, like, how many actual, like, cores that device may have. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And can we also show real quick the application tab? For sure. Tab? Of course, definitely, for sure. So the application tab is obviously good for progressive web applications. Yeah, right? where you can see your manifest is right there, and yep. it kind of shows uh, an audit from the browser. And then service worker is also right there if you click on the service worker. Um, in the application tab, it shows you like some of the stuff you can emulate, such as push notifications and periodic sync and um, all the cool stuff. Yep. So everything that you need to debug your web app from the browser perspective, you can find right here in the Edge Dev Tools. Yep. And yeah, all you got to do is just hit Control Shift I, or just go up to the three dots, go down to More Tools and Developer Tools. Have it on and off. Yep. Cool. So there you have it. That's all of the. Um, information, I guess, that we have on Edge Dev Tools to help you debug your progressive web apps. You can see we haven't even, you know, all we did was click a couple buttons to get started. Yep. And then we're, we can see all these cool things in, in the browser. And in the next episode, we're going to show you how to package your progressive web app into a store ready um, sort of package. And as usual, here are all the resources that you can see on the screen to explore this topic on your own. Thank you, Justin, again, and stay tuned.